Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mr. Kester Amos, uh, your favorite animal scientist. We are back here. We are actually in Nasarawa State today. We are constructing two greenhouses and uh, eating ponds actually here. And if you look to my left, you will see the two greenhouses. We are done with the installation, just left for the soil preparation and cultivation. But the main reason for this video is the eating ponds because uh, this is the first of its kind on my videos and uh, before I was invited here the ponds had been dug and they tried stocking but they realized the soil here does not retain water so once you fill the pond with water the water drains away the next day so as a result of that uh, when I was contacted for solutions to this I came up with the idea of using pond liners which is the tarpaulin you're seeing behind me so we call it pond liner so when you have a soil that cannot retain water because of the porosity of the environment, you can actually apply this method. So you dig to whatever size and shape of pond you want, then get the pond liner based on the measurement of the uh, pond that is dug. Then you place it, it will take the entire shape of the pond. Then you use these bags with sand to prepare the dike. So when you put in water inside the pond, it's not going to drag the pond liner into the pond. And then you must ensure that the pond liner is sitting properly on the floor, the base of the uh, pond. Because if it's not sitting properly, by the time you put water, it's just going to drag it down. So we made sure that the pond liner is a little bigger than the size of the pond so that the excesses can be overlapping by the dike. So we use this to cover it, uh, sorry, to uh, compress it. So we're going to walk you through the ponds and show you exactly what we have here. There are three major ponds. Each of them is measuring 10 meters by 30 meters. So they are massive ponds. So we'll just take you around. So we are almost done with the first one. You can see when you come up, it comes clearer to you. You can see we created uh, a three uh, feet, about 1.5 meter distance on the dike, so you are able to have these bags settled. Because if you don't have that amount of space on the dike, you won't be able to have this part as we have it. So you must ensure to create this space so you can have your pond liner overlapping and the sandbags lapping properly on the dike. So that's what we have here and uh, we are almost running up with this one as you can see they are still introducing the bags of sand and uh, the next one we are yet to do that all right so what it looks like the depth here is about five feet deep so the dike is three feet so what we've done is we did a tapering of eight feet so five goes down three laps out here and we use the sandbags to rest on the tray so the tarpaulin is sitting exactly at the base of the pond so even when we introduce water you don't have issues of the tarpaulin retracting and now this makes it a lot easier for you to invest your fishes because once you remove the water you see your fish is there but if you don't have this pond liner, you just have the bare soil. Immediately you try to harvest, some of the fishes will go into the mud. And this will make it very difficult for the next stocking. Because there are some times you're not able to get out all the fishes. So maybe one or two bigger fishes will still remain when you reintroduce water. So by the time you put in little fishes like your juveniles, post fingerlings or fingerlings. So they become food for those ones that are left over there. And even if you are able to remove everything from the pond, it is cumbersome, the process, because of the mud and everything. But with the pond liners here, you don't have to deal with any of that. So once you retrieve the water, you see your fishes on top of the tarpaulin. You are vest, you flush off, then you restock. So it makes it a lot easier for you to deal with in the situation where you're doing earth in ponds. So we'll just walk you to the end, then we'll call it today. Okay, so this is... So we are at the extreme end of the first pond. 
and this is where we're going to have our outlet because the pond is constructed in a way that it is sloped gently to this point so all the water from that extreme will come over here and drain out we have our drain out there you can see it that channel you see there is what takes the water out we have it running the entire length of the land so all these homes are channeled into that drain so we'll get our plumber to fix the outlet here and when we want to drain the pond we just open it and the whole water comes down here and move out so it's the same thing we've done for all of them so now what you will notice is this tarpaulin is overlapping into the other pond and the other one is overlapping into this pond so by creating this dike we are able to use these bags to seal both this one and this other one so that's what they are doing as you can see we are almost rounding up with this so once we round up with this we continue from here so i'll take you to the next one Okay, so we'll have the next outlet here, and the next one is going to be at the extreme because all the ponds are gently sloped. So that is why you see that all the outlets are by the extreme ends. So that's the white one, and this is uh, yellow and yellow. The tarpaulins are of the same quality, so uh, don't mind the color difference. They would last you for five to ten years, as long as you don't bring in any sharp object in here. They are very solid and high quality tarpaulins. So uh, this is what we have. The target here is 45,000. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, we are looking at a hundred and uh, sorry. 45,000 actually 15,000 15,000 15,000 features so 15,000 times 3 that's 45,000 uh, catfish population we are expecting on this farm so just as I said if you have a land and you want to construct an eating pond and you think the water holding capacity of the soil is low then you can have pond liners like this if you can't do it we can handle it for you if you want just the material you order from us, we can supply you. And if you want us to come and install it for you with the bags of sand and uh, all, everything, you can just give us a call on our phone number plus 2348-068-525032. You can see it displayed on the screen. So this farm is actually located in Nasarawa State. Uh, I don't really know the exact name of this place, but I've asked, they said it's called Auta. Uh, but I know it's uh, very close to Massacre. You just make a five minutes drive, you're in Massacre. Uh, I, I think it's heading towards the, the Kefi side of uh, uh, um, Nasarawa State. So this is it, uh, this is the much we can give you. Hopefully by the time we stop this spawn, we'll come back again and show you uh, the functionality and the farm in operation. So thank you. God bless you. And uh, don't forget to leave a like on this and uh, of course share. Thank you and bye-bye.